I originally wanted to work in a chemist because I've, I've been in quite a few times and they said they would get, offer me a job if I, if I want to leave school. Anyway, my cousins all worked at uh, Atkins Tin Works and they, well, in fact, they taught me into going to work there because it was more money, which it was. So I went to work at Atkins Tin Works, which I regretted always because I, I used to hate it. It was quite hard work and, and the, the conditions weren't very good really. It was that big gloss with great big holes in what other people had used. And, and you know, it was just an awful job, but I, got, I had to get used to it because I was there quite a while. And um, I never saw my cousins because they were in a different part of the factory anyway. So I had to make new friends again and things like that. I had to get a bike so I, could, I used to bike down, bike home and bike back again in the lunch, things like that. And then while I was there, there was, there was, there was, there was just talk about the war, you see. And I was thinking, oh, it would be nice if, I, if there was a war, I'd be able to get called up and go be a, a WAF or an ATS guy and things like mm. that. I was mad on doing that, but it didn't happen, did it? And then, what, then one day we went, we went, there was a lot of news that said that the, this Mr. Chamberlain was going to um, give a speech on the Sunday, on the September the 3rd, Dead. about what we were going to do. And we was all out there, and it was a lovely sunny day, and everybody was out in the garden shouting to each other, saying, oh, what are we going to do, and what's it going to be like having a war? And I felt quite excited, in a way wondering what was going to happen. Anyway, he came on at 11 o'clock and said they declared war on Germany and that uh, we all had to pull our belts in and there'd be rations and all sorts had to be sorted out, which we did. We used to get very, very poor rations, one egg a week and a little bit of butter and you know, really, really poor ration, so we had to kind of just manage what we'd get, what we got. And, uh, and we had to think about the blacking out on the windows, and, and I had to learn to be a, what they call Air, air warden helper. An air raid warden, to, to, to see if everybody had put all the lights out and things, because you got fined if you had, had any of the lights on, because it was a bit dangerous, wasn't it? Yeah. But, uh, then you used to go up a big ladder at work. Then, then when we were at Tin Works, we had to go up a big ladder, climb up this big ladder, and there was a big flat roof. Quite a lot of us, and we had to get these buckets, and we had to practice putting a incendiary bomb out. We used to do that like fire bombs, you know. We used to send a lot of more down together, and they had to be put out where you get set fire to the houses and things. So I had to do that, and then I had to help the one in at home, going around the, going around the streets and things, telling people to put the lights, put the lights out and things. And then the army came to Hesel. You know what? Then the army came. And, and then the army came, the Royal Norfolks, and, and that was quite exciting. <laughs> and so you went to a dance? Yeah. City Hall? Went to a dance? Oh, I don't know. And you met? You met Romy? Well, I, I didn't meet him at a dance, I don't think. Oh, right, okay. Just met him going for a walk, I think. Now, tell him about when you went to the City Hall and you had the shooting planes down. And, and in the meantime, we had quite a lot of rays. There was a long time starting the rays. When they did, it was quite bad. And I still used to get the bus and go to, Hes go to Hall with my friend, meet my friends. We used to go to the City Hall and there was all hundreds of soldiers and sailors and all sorts there. We used to have quite a nice time dancing and music used to be on, it was rock and roll and all that. And then we, when we started to, to leave, as we got out and walked down the street to go, go back into our bus, the air raid one South Irons went. I'd never been caught in one before. And it, it all happened at once. There was all the big guns going from Costello and other guns and and you can see all the um, the big lights, spotlights, spotlights, the spotlights uh, shining on these little, little tiny planes. You can see all the little puffs of smoke where they'd been hit. You saw some falling down, and it was very, very frightening. And then, then all of a sudden, all the windows went in down 
where Jackson's is in the square, in Hull. Anyway, I managed to get to a, a shelter and we had to stay there while it all finished. And when we came out, it was a bit, bit of a state. Things, you know, I think been smoking and I'm not sure. I think Hammond's got hit that night because mm. they got bombed. Mm. And um, anyway, we got home all right. I think I'm not sure, but I think we had to walk part of the way when we got home. <coughs> the man was worrying, worrying about me, wondering where I was. Mm. She been just she by herself all the time when I got when I got called up and there's a, there's a lot of raids on in Hull, mm -hmm. a lot of raids. And when did you meet Ronnie then? When did I meet Ronnie? Well, let's think. I think I think I'd gone out with one of my friends, and I think I'm not sure whether I went to pictures or not because Plaza was open, wasn't it? Mm. I think we'd been to we was coming out of pictures and we mm. met coming out of pictures and got talking to them like. And, of course, they're, they're all, it was all lonely, they all wanted female company, didn't they, to talk and things like that. And I um, asked if we could have a date, so I, I, I decided I'd go out with Ronnie because it was quite nice. And I went out with him quite, quite a while, really. He used to get, my mummy used to like him. Mm. He used to come come in and my mum used to make him a bit of supper and things like that. We used to always sit in the front room, though. <laughs> what on your own without my mum? My mum used, used to come in. <laughs> mum used to come in sometime, and she said she'd go out again. <laughs> and, uh, and you got engaged. Then we got engaged, and uh, we just, you know, used to come round quite. We, we felt we didn't used to go out much because there's nowhere to go out really. No. We used to get raised, and, and then you went to meet his mother. Yeah, and then I went, actually I think I made a mistake on that other one. Mm. I was at Grantham when I went to meet his mother. Was yeah? he got okay. he, he, he was going to he was gonna go to um he was gonna get called up to go some to, where, to where Burma. Was to Burma. But he didn't know when. So and then then I got called up before he went. Mm. And so when I went to, went went to Grantham. Mm. And I've been at Grantham a few weeks. He, he went. He, was, he said I had a letter from me saying he'd go into Burma. Mm. Would I come and see, meet his mum and dad while I, you know, while he was away? Mm. Right, well, you know, just just before meet, he went, just while to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I got a train by myself down to uh, to Liverpool, mm. and he, he went with. He went on his own. You know, he, he got other transport, mm. and uh, just say I'm. I'm I was to meet his mother in the station, but somehow I missed her. I didn't know what she was like or anything, so I was waiting, waiting, waiting. In the end, I thought, oh, I have to go find where they are. So I asked somebody where, I asked somebody where, uh, where what, what jail? jail was. I didn't <laughs> thought I was going to go visit somebody or something. So they told, me, they told me to get this bus to Walton Jail. So I found it and got off everything. And uh, I, I pulled this, I think it was a pole, I pulled this thing and somebody mm. comes to the door. And I said, what I, I told him what I wanted, I wanted to see Mr. Thompson. I was going out with his son and I'd missed his mum, supposed to meet me at the station. So he said, I asked me to come in. I went to his office and he was a white haired man, a lovely man he was, really nice. Mm. He said, now then what we're going to do with you, he said. I said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, I reckon he thought I was a silly thing to walk to the station, don't you? Mm, never mind. Anyway, he said, you should be here so She said, we'll wait here a bit and see what happens. Anyway, I think he's, I think she came and she, she sent a message to one of the men to tell her, tell him that mm. she'd missed me and mm. she wondered where I was. So, of course, I was sat in there with him, mm. wasn't I? So he took me back to the house and and then right in the meantime, Ronnie come. Mm. And he had a brother. He had a brother and uh, he wanted him, want him the forces. He had a bit, he owned a big factory huh? in Liverpool. And he stayed, he stayed the night for tea. And when he, um, when he got talking to me where I worked and everything, I told him I worked at Grantham and all that. He said, well, he says, would you like to come and Come and live, live near us, stay here in Liverpool. I said, oh, I don't know. So I said, I could get you a job in my factory really easy. Oh, right. So uh, I said, no, I don't think so. I said, 
and I got used to staying where I am now. I didn't oh. want to go and live there. Oh. Yeah, I didn't like her much. She was, she was a little bit oity tighty as mother was. Oh. She might have been alright. I think it was she had some uh, this girl set in her mind. Mm. Oh. You know, she must have been friends with him for years already, oh. don't you? Yeah, I think and, uh, so. Yeah. So we did go to visit that person. I'm talking yeah. about and, and yeah. uh, Ronnie did say that. She had, she had, she had you know, great ideas of me being with her. Anyway, we had quite, quite a nice time. She, she had a really nice house, a nice bedroom to myself. And she was a little bit careful with everything. She was just, if you come up to bring me a cup of tea, she was just like, Ronnie, Ronnie, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and I just, I just said to her, what do you think, think you're going to do? <laughs> so, so I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, we used to have some laughs. He was quite a nice. He was quite a nice fella. But you had to send him a dear John letter in the end. Didn't yeah, you? I had to send him. Yeah, when I when I when I met Doug, I had to send him a letter to say that uh, I had to break it off. So. And, and, and Doug he was would. still in Burma, wasn't he? Mm. You say that. I had to write a letter to Doug in to Burma. I had to write one. Mm. And um, so, I, and in the meantime, I'd packed his ring up. I sent it to uh, his mother. Well, I don't want it you now. Mm. I'm going to do the right thing. So I pa yeah. passed it and sent it back. And it, it, it was a cross post because I got a letter from her saying, uh, Ronnie's been telling me you broke your engagement off. Will you please send the ring back? Oh, I thought, I'm glad I sent it back. Then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, she was not very nice, was she really? Yeah. To say well, that. I suppose she was upset. It, we she, upset, it upset me at doing that to Ronnie, but yeah. Yeah. I thought, well, it's no good keeping him on. No. I mean, I didn't know whether Ronnie Doug was going to get killed or not, did I? It was, it no, was, it was no. the time that it was a war on, wasn't there? Mm. So, what about when you got called up? You went in, in a lorry, didn't you, to Grantham? Yeah, I went in a lorry and. Uh, From Hull? Yeah. Yeah, we had to meet. We had to How many people was on it? I then? had to get get a bus bus from here. We had no yeah. cars and anything. There were about thirty or forty of us. 